Hello children. Welcome to Yamuna's Physics Classes. Today here we are to discuss the topic 12.6. That's the topic of the lesson Atoms. In the previous video we have discussed what is Bohr Atom Model or specifically the three major postulates of Bohr Atom Model and of which the second one was MBR equal to NH by 2 pi or angular momentum is an integral multiple of H by 2 pi. That was done in the year 1930. Ten years later, De Broglie explained, De Broglie explained Bohr's second postulate of the word is quantization means Bohr mentioned that that particular stationary states should have certain property. That property was angular momentum can have only discrete values like 1 h by la, 2 pi, 2 h by 2 pi, 3 h by 2 pi, so forth and so forth. And no values are possible in between them. So that we call quantization. Now after 10 years, in 1923, Louis de Broglie explained by concept of using the question. He raised a question like, can particles behave like waves? That was a very big question from the side. We know that radiations can have both particle as well as wave nature. Is it possible for particle to do that? That was a question. Can a particle move like a wave? And we know electron is a particle. Can electron behave like a wave? That was a question. So, in that question, De Broglie could explain. He, De Broglie explained it crystal clear by using the word, if it is a wave, definitely it should have a wavelength. And De Broglie wavelength estimated as lambda has a value h by mb where h is Planck's constant, m is mass of the electron revolving, v is the velocity with which it is revolving. So that was known as de Broglie wavelength. Now, his hypothesis was, according to de Broglie, a stationary orbit, this is a very, very, very important word in first postulate itself. There should be certain specified non-radiating orbits known as stationary states. That was the term used. So, if it has to be, if the electron should move in a stationary orbit, this is the nucleus, this is the electron moving around it, in a particular radius or specified orbit, the condition is, is one which should contain an integral number of de Broglie waves. It should consist of a certain fixed number of de Broglie waves associated with the revolving electrons. So come back. So this is the electron which is revolving around the nucleus. Now you know how from the nucleus you have radius expanding circles. It goes like this. So you have a number of radius n equal to 1, n equal to 2, so on, so on, so on. Now suppose this is a radius. This is an orbit whose radius is Rn. If that is the case, what will be the length of this curve? For sure it is 2 pi Rn. If 2 pi Rn is the 2 pi R suffix n, n means nth orbit. If it is a nth stationary orbit, that length, total length 2 pi Rn should be an integral multiple of the Broglie wavelength. If suppose electron is a particle, that was his hypothesis and he could prove it very simply. Because you substitute lambda as h by mv, what do we get? 2 pi rn equal to nh by mv. Rearranging what do we get? mv rn is equal to the total length. If you start from here, the total orbit length is m 2 pi rn. That is equal to nh by mv. So mv rn equal to nh by 2 pi, where n is for sure a 
positive integer. No values, intermediate values are not at all possible. That's why we say it is quantized. So the value is 1h by 2 pi, 2h by 2 pi, 3h by 2 pi, so on. Clear? Now, this could be clearly understood if we think of the analogy what we have studied in last year in lesson class 12, sorry class 11, lesson 15, the waves, we have studied if a string whose both ends are fixed or tied, standing waves are formed when total disturbance travelled by a wave down and back the string. As a wave is moving forward and back, the total waves which is filled over the length is 1 lambda, 2 lambda, etc. n lambda. There again you don't have 1 and a half lambda, 2 and a half. That is not possible. It will be getting, uh, a wave will be advancing, the other one will be superposing, get lost. The existing waves, some standing waves there, which are formed there, must have this condition. What is the condition? For example, here the length L shows 2 lambda. You know what is a lambda? Wave length of a wave. So, this figure shows this is 1 lambda, the other one is 1 lambda. So, it is 2 lambda. Likewise, here the 2 pi r in length. Here, you have done 4 lambda. This Each one is 4 lambda. So, this is example 4. 2 pi r is equal to 4 lambda and n has the value. Here the n will be having the value how much? n will be having the value how much? 4. So this stands for r4 means n equal to number 4. So if it is n equal to 4, you will get 4 lambda. That is all. So inside this 2 pi r length, you will have only 4 waves. So that is how De Broly explained Bohr's second postulate. Hope it is clear. Thank you for listening. Thank you.